Hello everyone and welcome to the 48th C programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be just kind of wrapping up a lot of what we've learned in the past few tutorials and we're going to be covering a little more in depth on uh, C strings. So this tutorial should really help you understand how uh, character strings work in C and uh, really with pointers. So it's, it's, a, it's just a good all around tutorial to cover pointers, character strings. Uh, we're going to be using our recursive function that we made in the last tutorial. So you can either copy this just right now or uh, copy it from lesson 47. Either way, you should watch lesson 47 to know what this function does. Again, it just prints out an integer uh, using recursion goodness. <laughs> Um, after that, we're going to be, or with this tutorial, we're also going to be using the const uh, keyword again, just to refresh that a little bit. And we're also going to be using variable arguments a lot. So we're going to be basically making a printf function uh, that's a very basic printf function, which we're going to be calling basic print. So basic print, what can basic print handle? Well, basic print is going to handle text, uh, percent %d, backslash n, backslash t, and also percent i. So really, all it handles is text and integers. So there's really not that much that it handles. You know, printf is way more powerful compared to what basic print can do. But just to give you an idea of what it can handle, it can handle all the stuff that I'm pretty much showing you here, which uh, for the amount of code that we're going to write might be uh, pretty good. So like I said, Basic print is going to be using all the stuff that I just mentioned, and it's also, more importantly, not going to be using the printf function at all. So in this tutorial, uh, basic print is not going to be using printf, which is important, right? We want to make kind of our own version of printf. So how do we how do we make printf if we don't have printf? All right, so let's get started here. Uh, to make basic print, we want to have kind of the same outlet outline of uh, printf, which is to have a const care star. And uh, basically this means that the characters themselves of this string cannot be altered, which is very important, right? We don't want to have anybody uh, fiddling around with uh, the characters that are in this uh, string. So that's good, I guess. Uh, you don't want uh, that to happen if you're trying to parse the string. The next part is to, of course, have the ellipsis, so that's why we include the standard arg header file, and that will allow us to work with variable argument lists. All right, so now that we have that, we can go ahead and make our VA list, and we'll call it args. And uh, to initialize the list, we use the macro VA start args. The param is just the parameter that comes before our ellipsis, which is the str. And then, you know, we got to be good citizens of the programming world and end our variable argument list like that. Cool. All right. So now you're wondering, how do I print a string? And that's a great question. How do you print a string without using printf? Well, we've covered how to use put char, right? That prints a character out to the standard output, which is very useful. So. That's what we're going to be using in this tutorial. But the better question is then, how do you get the individual characters of a string? So that's that's the trick, right? All right, well, let's cover that briefly in a little side section over here. And uh, let's just create our own little character string. So str, we're going to make our own string. And uh, I love teaching you guys how to program. Yeah. All right. So that's, that's my string. I love teaching you guys how to program. And how could I read the different values in the string? Well, I could make, for example, a for loop. And you probably weren't even thinking that I was going to say that. But uh, let's just go up to about 25. And the idea of this for loop is that we're going to be incrementing through this, uh, basically, character string and we're going to print out all these values. So let's refresh briefly, though, what this means. What does a character string mean in C? Because a character string really isn't anything special, to be honest. It's uh, th There's really nothing special about a character string in C. It's probably the most basic form of 
reading text there is in uh, you know modern programming stuff I guess but what's going on is we define some pointer right we call it str it points to the first memory address where this i is located so wherever our first character is located this pointer is pointing to that address in memory right it points to that memory address and in that memory address holds the character value right so how uh, you know how does the string know when it's done well every string finishes itself with a null character value so the, uh, the this is the null character or a zero basically and this is the character that you expect to see when uh, you are done with the string so every string in C will have some address and it'll have a null value right after that and that's how you know that your string is complete C all right so um, but in this case we're just gonna go through the first 25 characters of the string and print them out so how would we do that well um, we're gonna use printf uh, you know maybe I lied to you we're gonna use printf in this tutorial I guess a little bit but this is just for the example not in uh, basic print function so uh, printf allows us to print out the memory address of something which we can use by percent %p and we're also going to print out the character value so we want to print the address of our string pointer right str points to an, a memory address it is a pointer and to print the value that's represented by or in that memory address we use the dereference operator or the star and then we can just use star str right that'll print out the value at that location now to go to the next character we just want to say str plus plus you may be like well why would we do that well the whole point is that c strings like i said are the most basic thing pretty much ever so you've got some character it's located at some memory address let's say it's located at memory address 502 the next character the space is going to be located at 503 and then 504 and then 505 and you get the idea it just keeps you just keep inc incrementing the address that you're located at by one and then you're looking at the next character so that's how that's how basic uh, strings really are in C so let's go ahead and run this and let me clean this up a bit all right so now you can see that uh, this is what we get printed out so I love teaching you guys and then space so what's going on here well like I said we start str our pointer is always defined to point to the first thing in our string so it has str the pointer variable holds on to the address of this string so when I go to print out the pointer of str right it prints out its memory address and this is its memory address like I said before like if it was 502 obviously this isn't 502 but it's some memory address in hexadecimal and it represents just some number in the address space so that's where str is pointing and then uh, the star right points out or the dereference operator points out the prints out the value in that memory address all right so that's that's that cool now if we increment our address by one now we're just looking at the next character right because characters only hold uh, one byte so they're just holding on to the next uh, address so uh, as you can see the next thing is just a space right that's what's printed out now you can see even more clearly right here as we're incrementing our number by one right we say str plus plus we're incrementing the address space by one each time and as we increment the address space by one we're literally just accessing the character at that location and this is how character strings work now what if I wanted to print all the way to the end of the string right I don't know the length of every string there's no easy way of doing that so how could I compute that well I just have to find where the uh, null character is pretty easy so how do I do that well I just say whatever the value of str is as long as it's not equal to the backslash zero or the null character right as long as it's not equal to the null character that means that um, I can keep printing right once I hit the null character then that means I am at the end of my string so I could just call put char and print out the string str++ that means I will increment 
my where I'm located in memory uh, by each step. So now I can run this. And as you can see, I love teaching you guys how to program is what we get. And of course, once it hits the end of the string, that's uh, when it completes and uh, then it doesn't print anything else, right? Because our while is false. All right, so that's uh, you know, a good, uh, good intro, I guess, to how we're gonna work with this basic print. And hopefully that uh, really helps you better grasp how pointers work as well in C. All right, so let's integrate this into our basic print function now. So like I said, as long as our string is not equivalent to the backslash zero, right as long as it's not equal to the null character we want to keep printing out what we have so the two cases we have are basically when we have a percent d or percent i or if we just have a normal character so first we'll work with the case where we have the percent d or percent i so we'll say well is the string the value that this pointer is pointing to the value of this certain uh, memory address right if it's equal to the percent sign then we will not really do anything, but we're gonna go to the next thing, right? We see the percent sign in our string. Well, we better see what the next thing is. If it's a D or an I, then we'll print that out. So uh, we can go ahead and, oops, I wanna make an if statement. If the string value at this location is a D, or if what the pointer is pointing to at this memory address is holding onto an I, then we want to uh, basically get the integer that we were passing in, right? Again, we're using like the printf format, so we pass in the integers at the end. So we have to retrieve those from our variable argument lists. So we can say int integer gets va arg args, and the type that we expect back, of course, is an int, right? because that's what percent %d or percent %i represents. And then we just have to print that out. So this is where we're gonna use the print int function, right? Because we have no way of just printing an int normally if it's more than zero to nine. So uh, we wanna be able to handle that. And in this case, we can just print it out with our print int function that we made in the last tutorial. All right, so we can now just pass in the integer and print int function will do the job of Put, uh, printing out all those characters that are in the int. Cool. All right, so now the last step is to uh, print out all the remaining characters, right? We handled the case where we have the percent sign and then the D or the I. The other case is when we have our uh, just printing out a character. So if we want to do that, we just say put char, whatever the value of our string uh, or our pointer is pointing to, right? Then of course, when all is said and done, we have to increment one more time, right? If we read the D or the I, then we print out our integer, and now we have to move to the next character, right? We don't wanna sit on this character anymore. Likewise, if we print out a character, we have to go to the next character, so we can, you know, the, those both do the same thing, so we can just put the str++ at the end. All right, cool. So that's that's that. That's everything, that's everything we should have to do. All right, let's test her out. So basic print, and uh, I love this series, don't you? And you better say yes to that. But uh, percent %d, percent %i, and 20, let me just make a cool number here, 20, 13, yes, I am gonna try to print out the year. So, uh, Go ahead and print that out. I love this series, don't you? And 2013. Notice this is not a question. This is, you should enjoy the series. Cool, so that all worked out. Now, what if we wanted to use, like I said in the beginning of this tutorial, we should be able to use backslash n and backslash t. So, let's throw in backslash n, backslash t, and what happens? Well, as you can see, it actually works out as we expected. So. I love the series, and then we put a backslash n, so then on the next line we get comma, don't you, and then we put a tab between the 20 and the 13. So yeah, um, those actually work as well. Now you might be wondering, well, why does that work? Because, you know, we kind of had two characters here. Well, really what's happening is that these 
the backslash n and the backslash t get converted into their ASCII equivalents, right? In the ASCII character set, there is a value, I think it's 10 or something for backslash n for a new line character. New line character is represented by a 10. And so really what get what happens here is this backslash n just gets converted into its you know character equivalent. So when it's saved into memory, right, that memory address will just hold on to a value of 10. So when we go to put char that value, it just prints out whatever you know the value of 10 is in the ASCII character set, and then it prints that out, which is a new line. So it prints a new line. Cool. That's that. That's yeah, it's everything I wanted to cover, I guess, in this tutorial. And uh, I hope it certainly better helps you understand, uh, you know, when you can use some different things in C. And uh, I think uh, if you got anything else, the tutorial was probably most useful to understand the, uh, the pointer stuff. But anyway, uh, yeah, if you have any questions remaining on this tutorial or anything else in the series, of course, please feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below. Please subscribe to the channel, and please subscribe to me on Twitter and or Google+, although I am more of a Twitter user, I guess, than uh, the other. But nonetheless, follow me uh, there. I'm always posting updates to all these videos there and uh, you know other cool stuff. And yeah, so like I said, uh, I will see you in an upcoming tutorial. It's probably the last C tutorial for a little while, so boo or yay, I guess, depending on who you are. But uh, we're going to be moving on to some... Objective C and Coco stuff in the coming weeks and months ahead. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I will see you next time.